Gremlin, Rep Lloyds. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ramblin' Reploids. My name is Coleman X, and as always, I am joined by my best buddy, Twitch from Reploid Revo. Hey, thank you for being here. Well, it's always my pleasure to be here, bro. Yes, and um, <laughs> as promised, we are back with our follow-up to a, uh, you know, like a theoretical Mega Man 12, you know, we said what we want to see... And now it's what you guys want to see. We went through the comments and picked out some stuff that stood out, or just stuff that like, came up over and over and over. So, I mean, we... We're still on that Mega Man 12 train. We're not done with it. Yeah, I mean, and until it sees the light of day, we can keep talking and saying what we want, because I think, I think that's fun, and, you know, you never know who's listening. So maybe it'll it'll you know get some light bulbs going off. Maybe like, hmm, that is a good yeah, idea. Exactly. We we always say if if we have a good idea, please feel free to use it. You know, mm -hmm. that's true. Just go go right on ahead. We want to see these things implemented in some way. We know that Capcom is probably not listening. Um, <laughs> but if anyone out there is making any fan games and you like an idea of ours, ah, very true. You know, please go ahead and scoop it up because we just want to see it implemented in a game. And all the only thing that that we request, which is not required, but would be greatly appreciated, is just say, it's those little those 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 rambling eploids, those two talkative guys. Yeah, special <laughs> thanks, baby. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you ready to jump in? Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, as, as ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Well, um, I want to start with one that I wanted to cover last time, but I knew it would come up in this, and it, this is definitely the one i saw the most and it is the return of female robot masters like we need more than just splash woman i i 100 agree yeah absolutely i i think that the fact that there has only been one and they just kind of never returned to that idea is so bizarre to me mm-hmm mm -hmm. like I, I don't know man like now that you you've you've opened up you know you've opened up that can of worms you have to kind of, you know, continue now. You know what I mean? There's really no reason I can think of, like, why they don't just do more female characters. I think it would add a lot of diversity and just does give you unique design opportunities that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that you'd be missing out on if you keep the Robot Masters exclusively male. Like, it's, it's really strange. Like, Mega Man is usually devoid of female characters to begin with. Yeah. What is there? There's role... Kalinka, Splash Woman, and that's and. it. And <laughs> uh, that's it. <laughs> that's all of them for classic, anyway. Yeah, it's 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 really it's really a shame, you know, because there have been so many good Robot Master designs. Like you know, just going back the entire way, like there have been some really good Robot Master designs, and I think Splash Woman is among the best. Just, mm -hmm. just from a design perspective. And, right. you know, like, there's, I think there's something to that. You know, like, I, I don't want to come off as, as, like, too biased or whatever, but I think that we just need more female robot masters because they have so many different ways to, you know, represent a design. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like, I, like, I don't know. I, I feel that... Um, there's there's a certain kind of archetype for male robot masters mm -hmm. with like their body shape and their head shape and like their faces and this yeah, and that. got your guts, mans and stuff. You know, and I'm sure that you could absolutely stretch that out for decades to come of just remixing those kind of things. You know what I mean? There's oh yeah, there's like the airman body type. There's a handful of robot masters that follow that template. There's, like, the handsome types, like Quick Man and Tornado Man and things like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, there's the, 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 the cool digital ones with the eyes like Astro Man and Galaxy Man, you know, whose bodies are kind of, like, weird and oblong. I think Bounce Man is in there, too, with the same kind of eyes. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, there's a certain kind of rhyme and rhythm that goes with those designs. But, I mean, like, you could totally do, like, female Robot Masters and kind of mix things up a bit. Like... If you want to play up their feminine side, you can 
like do all sorts of things either with like you know elaborate like dresses or feminine hairstyles you know like there, there's so many different female aspects that you can also tie in with Mega Man design elements and it's just weird that it's like a completely untapped like thing like why haven't they done that you know what I mean mm -hmm. I, and like um, it, it kind of is reminding me right now of the Street Fighter 6 roster because it's got you know like a, like a good handful of, of like female characters but they all kind of you know like take take it a, an archetype and kind of make it their own you know you got like the you got the bi the big burly one you got the um the evil jury you know <laughs> um, yeah yeah you, you know what i mean so like like they there's there's precedent within capcom of you know taking you know just the idea of female character and then just going crazy with it and making it just like super iconic and fun like it it can totally be done within the framework of Mega Man because yeah. Mega Mega Man like as a as a like as a toolbox is so much fun like mm -hmm. design wise. So it's it's such a shame that we've only had just a one and done, and I hope that changes. Yeah, and and I know that Capcom definitely has it within them to do that. Like even like the easiest simplest thing, like in uh, in most f fighting games, crossover ones especially. That mm -hmm. feature Dimitri from Darkstalkers. He has that ah, move. What uh, is it? Midnight, the Midnight Bliss. Bliss. Yeah. And it transforms whatever character that he's fighting into a female version of themselves, including Zero mm -hmm. from uh, what is it? SNK versus Capcom Chaos or whatever. That SVC game was Chaos. Called. Yeah. SVC Chaos. You know, so it's not like female versions of character designs is beyond Capcom, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. I'm not saying that they should just take existing robot masters and just make them women. Like that's kind of like two on the nose. But I'm saying you could you could think about that, you know what I mean? Like for ideas and you could totally come up with some really interesting variations. Mm -hmm. And it's it's just very strange that Splash Woman is like the one and only example we get of this. Which is even weirder still because if you look at the concept art for Mega Man 9 they went through a handful of female Robo Master designs. I, I think, actually, how many did they do? Was it only the two? Honey I Woman think it was just the two. Woman? Yeah, Honey. Either way, uh -huh. it's still demonstrating that like a female Robo Master could totally work because everyone loves the Honey Woman design. Yeah, and like you know, it was in Archie, you know, so like at least that design got to sort of live on. And you know, um, Quake Woman came from Archie as well. Which, like, yeah. I, I gotta wonder if it's more of a, like, a Western perspective that wants to see female robot masters, or if, like, Japanese fans are kind of feeling the drought, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I, I have a feeling that nobody, nobody would complain, I think, if you did female, more female robot masters, either, you know, in Japan or in the West. I think both sides of the pond would be happy with that, just because... It, it would shake things up. It gives it a bit more variety. I mean, how many years has Mega Man, you know, been a franchise for? Over 30 at this point, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think it's okay to kind of, like, mix things up a bit. And even... To, to even add a little bit onto this, um, there's some female bosses, I think in the ZX series, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And not necessarily that them being female shows in their design, because I think most of them are, like, based on animals. But... The point I'm getting at is that people are fine with that. I don't think there's any hang-ups about yeah. you know, fighting a female character anymore. You know what I mean? Just just go for it. Yeah, yeah, I I agree, and like especially in um in classic because it's more of a like, you know, it's it's more lighthearted, cartoony. You know, like you're you're not gonna yeah. you're you're not beating someone like into to like an inch of their life and like they're all bloody and stuff. No, they just like boom. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like real cute. It's a cartoony explosion, and then they always mm -hmm. come back at the end anyway. Like yeah, you know, yeah, like like think the ending of Mega Man Nine. You know, like Mega they all Man they all blew up and then shows them. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's 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 definitely something that can be done and should be done, and I hope it is be done. Yeah, I hope it is be done as well. <laughs> so, um, I guess that brings us on to the next one. Did you want to bring it in, or should I? Um, well, let's see. I think going along with, uh, you know, 
more variety of the boss designs mm -hmm. there should also be more variety in the player characters i think yes. we covered this a bit in our own uh most wanted list for Mega Man 12 mm -hmm. we want more playable characters i think that is a very reasonable thing to ask for because changing which character you're playing as not only allows you to add a lot of variety to the player but it extends the content basically of a game without having to actually make more game you know what i'm saying oh yeah like um that that kind of harkens back to uh the stuff that we talked about last time with like the adapters and stuff because that you know that's that's the same thing you know you're 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 changing up your basic move set in order to you know like do something different in the same game which is which is always like really fun it's like what works best in this place what works best in that so if you could have like more characters and then if they do like a powered up style where you can like play as robot masters even if it's like like legacy robot masters like not even you know new ones like you know because if the designs are too big or whatever Mm -hmm. Then like like it would be so cool the like there's so many possibilities just don't attach any story to it and just you know you go in you play and you have fun. Yeah, it it would literally be that simple. You don't have to complicate everything by making it like a story mode. Like don't get me wrong, they did that for Powered Up and they they changed every single cutscene based on mm -hmm. who you're playing as, which is appreciated. But even if you just did a mode where every time, you know, you you enter a cutscene, it either skips it or just, you know, does placeholder dialogue, like, you know, or anything. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm thinking back to when I used to play Beautiful Joe all the time. Okay. Um, and if you play as Dante or Alistair, like, basically any character besides Joe, um, instead of having regular cutscene dialogue, I think all their dialogue gets reversed because it doesn't make any sense if the characters are talking to Joe um, and you're obviously, like, not Joe. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the cutscenes still play out, and I think they just used subtitles or something like that. I mean, you don't even have to do that much. Like, I'm trying to think of games. Maybe maybe I'm wrong about this. I think Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition lets you play as Virgil, and they just took out the cutscenes because... Obviously, the cutscenes are centered around Dante's story, trying to go and fight Virgil. So uh -huh. if you're playing as him, the cutscenes wouldn't make any sense. So they just got rid of the cutscenes, and you just go from battle to battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, that'd be fine. Yeah, yeah. It, it really reminds me of, um, like, Kirby Superstar Ultra, how it did Meta Nightmare Ultra. And it's like, you're Meta Knight, and you're going through the whole game. There's not a single cutscene until the end, because there's, like, a new final boss. Mm. You know, so it's just like, it's just like, you're going through the stages, you're having fun with this, like, really overpowered moveset, and it was, like, the best mode, <laughs> you know? Right. So, like, st stuff like that, where you can just, like, it, an arcade way through, because, like, in, in Meta Nightmare, it, um, like, it timed you, you know, like, that, that was the gimmick. Right. You know, it was like, here's all the stages back to back, you don't have to go through any, you know, game changing, any maps, whatever, it's just... Here's all the stages. How fast can you do it? Here's this really overpowered character. Go. You know, it was, it was really fun. Mm -hmm. So I could see something like that. It's like, oh, uh, here's um, uh, here's a uh, uh, Elect Man mode. Here he comes. He's really fast. He's uh, mm -hmm. shooting dudes. You know, who cares about the story? You know, I I could I could I could see it working, but you know, like like I I cannot. Imagine them after eleven not doing at least one more playable character, af like after nine and ten, you know. And not only that, we've had years of playing Mega Man games with multiple characters. Yeah. Um, there's Mega Man in base. Um, there's Mega Man powered up with a, an impressive amount of characters that you can play as. Um, we have Maverick Hunter X creating brand new characters that you can play as, like Vile. True. Um, yeah. We have the Most arcade the, games, if you want to go with that. The arcade games. We have the X-Series with X-Zero and Axel being playable. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think that at this point, I would say that multiple characters that you can play as with different play styles is a staple to Mega Man as much as, you know, the the weapon switching uh, system. You know, the, mm -hmm. weapon, the boss weakness system. Yeah. I think that those two things are like... Like, inexorably linked, you know? Cause yeah, definitely. It's 
you can take Mega Man and you can do it a million times over if you want, but just taking a character that plays differently and sticking them in the Mega Man formula expands so much of the game and gives you so much replayability, you know? Mm hmm. I mean, just think about how Zero changed the face of Mega Man when he became playable. You yeah, know? that's true. And it really influenced things going forward. Yeah, that's, and, that's and, absolutely and right. Even though they're both playing an identical game, uh, ostensibly, it's still such a different experience to play the game as X or as Zero, and mm -hmm. now as Axel, who has even you know more abilities. And then even in um, X7 and X8, where you can swap characters... That's like a huge deal, you know what I mean? That completely changes how the game plays. Um, but it, it does it's not really all that complex, like, you know what I mean? Like, you, you don't have to make more game to compensate. We just want to play as, base, for lack of a better term, we want to play as different Mega Men in, in, you know, in the same stages. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, um, like uh, with X4, it's a really good example because the weapons that Zero gets... It, like, it it makes your boss order completely different. So even if you're doing it the, quote, intended way, you know, it's yeah. still, like, fundamentally different from playing as X. Just on a, yeah, cause just on the order of the stages. Differently. Yeah. And the order of the stages is different, you know? Like, there's times where I will fight uh, Jet Stingray as X in a, usually early on as soon as I have the ice weapon because it's so easy to hit Jet Stingray. Mm -hmm. But for Zero, I usually make him last because I want to make sure that I have the double jump so that I can get above him and hit him with, you know, the, the ice uh, stab thingy that he does. <laughs> I can't remember the name. It's too hard to pronounce. You won ice stab. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I, even just things like Mega Man 10, like playing as Mega Man base or Proto Man, you know, they're all basically just Mega Man, but with different movesets. Mm -hmm. And that's fine, you know, just just give us that. It's not all that hard to... I can't imagine it's all that hard to code either or to program, mm -hmm. you know? Like, once you've made one character, you're really basically just changing the parameters on that character. Yeah, you and know? like, like um, the way that Rockman and Forte was, like, I'm pretty sure we touched on this before, but just how... It was one big level, you know, but depending on who you're who you're playing as, be like, oh, you can only reach this with a double jump from base. Oh, you can only slide in here with Mega Man. You know, like so that's like one one level with like a branching path, even if it's just one little little divergence. Yeah, it, it like, gives you reason enough to come back with another character. Yeah, so much to do, so much to see, you know? Exactly. And yeah, I, I really can't think of any reason why they didn't do that for Eleven, other than I think Eleven was like really, really safe. And yeah, it was a it was a let let's see if it still works type I thing. I feel like Mega Man Eleven is an evolution of the NES Mega Man formula as opposed to the Mega Man Eight, Nine, and Ten formula. Does that make sense? I get you. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's really safe and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it does also mean that they're focusing on I I, I still don't think Capcom is a hundred percent let go of those like retro golden years. You know what I mean? I think they're still clinging on to those mm -hmm. to um to to control where Mega Man Classic is going, which I also think is why for some reason we haven't gotten like an X9 yet, because I, I think Capcom is worried that if they go back to those, I don't want to say easy, but like I guess more open style of of games, like they did with like you know um, uh, X8, where like it's three characters. Like I don't, I don't know. Like I I guess like the the big concern at the time with X8 is that they were like this is drifting a little too far away from what makes a Mega Man game a Mega Man game, so they wanted to return to their roots with Maverick Hunter X, mm -hmm. which, that's fine, I guess I can understand that. But there was there was a time where you they were kind of hitting, like, a really nice sweet spot, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like they they moved too far one direction to overcompensate for that, you know? And so, I don't know, I just, I want more characters to come back. Not only because I want to have them come back, um, just to have more variety, but I also want to learn more about these characters, you know? I'm I'm hanging on every single word that Capcom has to say about every character, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to know more. What's going on with base? 
Is he still using evil energy? How about Axel? Is Axel doing anything interesting these days? What's going on? How about Proto Man? Did he die yet? What's what's happening? <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Just uh, I mean, like it it seems it seems kind of foolish not to, if not have different characters, like have drastic different play styles in some way. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because like like. You know, Eleven didn't have any, like, legacy characters around, besides the Light family. So, it, like, you know, just a, a a boss fight, you know, like, just do, do it Mega Man 7 style. You know, you find Proto Man, you fight him, you can get a shield or something. You know, and then you fight base a few times, he's, uh, he's being, a, being a little prick again. Mm-hmm, yeah. You know, like, like they, there, are, there are compromises, but, you know, why not both? You know, we, we could fight them and then just also have a base and Proto Man mode, and then those fights just aren't there. You just, you know, you just keep going with your day. Or you fight like a copy base or a copy Proto Man, because who cares? You, there you, you go. We've it's... already established since Mega Man 1 that copy robots are a thing. <laughs> Why don't you make the copy robots a character? And they just, like, and they're, they're like little, like, little annoying gremlins who love imitating the the uh, the, the main cast you know what i mean and oh that would like, be so funny like with voice acting and stuff if they're like kind of, you know like yeah. making fun of the oh my god that would be so funny it, it's like what they did in powered up where they made like copy roll and copy uh, mega yeah, man yeah like, co- copy just roll these, is a like rude little thing. jerks like uh-huh. i love that <laughs> it was the um dexter's lab uh, rude removal Mega yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you could easily just be like, it's a copy bot, and then you just fight copy base or copy proto man. You don't even have to come up with an excuse. Just say it's a copy. You know what I mean? Just just do it. it there, no explanation needed. Yeah, like, like if, if there's like pre fight, you know, banter, just, you know, like base or proto man could be like, oh, now, now you're copying me? You know, it's like, what? Yeah, you know, it's don't like, you oh, know you've already made the strongest robot, yeah. Riley? You know, yeah. like, oh you man, know, you, can't, you can't, you know, uh, make perfection twice or some nonsense. Copy Proto Man could come down, but he's wearing the Breakman mask. That'd be kind of sick. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but he's like, he's like a different shade, you know, like like how uh, the Dark Man stuff was. You know, like, yeah. Like it's... <sighs> All right, we're going to be here all day. <laughs> I know. We're, we're, we can just gush about this all the time. Because now that I'm thinking about, you know, copy robots for not just Mega Man, but also base and Proto Man, mm-hmm. I'm, like, addicted to this idea. And I think that copy robots for them, just to explain mirror matches when you're playing through the story, is, like, perfect. You know what I mean? Like, I would love that. <laughs> yeah, like, how many copies of Zero have there been, you know? Yeah, exactly. Let someone else have a turn. <laughs> it's it's I, I it, I'm stuttered I'm stumbling over myself. <laughs> copies of main characters or evil copies of main characters is both a played out and boring trope, but it is still fun anyway. You know what I mean? It's such a cop out, no mm-hmm. pun intended, but cop it is. Out. But it is still fun regardless. You know. Yeah, what I, mean? I, I I think it's always fun. Like like especially if you know if it's if it's a story that's not taking itself too seriously. You know, and then yeah. like like oh here comes a here comes a copy. It's like, darn it, Wiley, you copied me. Ooh, you know, like, and then and, and then I you think just you fight. could even yeah, and you could even get away with it in like Mega Man too because they're all robots. So like. All you would have to do is just have a robot that's imitating them. It doesn't have to be, like, a perfect copy. It's just got to, like, look like them, you know? Oh, I, I'm, or, or, I mean, if they wanted to be real lazy but also efficient, just do, like, a dock robot. But, yeah. you know, it's one design, but it can be... Bring those it can things be... back. Oh, my God. Okay, Bring so... Bring those ideas back. It's it, so it, easy. Just do a, a dock robot, but you fight him multiple times. One time he's Mega Man, one time he's Proto Man. You know, oh, man... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just call him Doc Robot 2 or something stupid like that, you know? Uh-huh. Call him Dentist Robot. Yeah. I know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, okay. Let's move on. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> I, I know we could go on and on about that. It, it is, I mean, that just goes to show you how much we want more characters. Mm, absolutely. You know? But uh, something else I want, and I've wanted for a long time, is the return of anime cutscenes. Because when I first yes. saw that in X4 and Mega Man 8, it blew my mind. Like, I remember 
my friend renting X4 and he's like, you gotta see this. And we, you know, we were, we were little bitty mega boys, right? <laughs> mega boys. You weren't mega men yet. Not yet. But it was, it was incredible. Like, because this was like right at the cusp of the anime boom, you know, and it, it was, it was still like a, like a really niche thing. To be into, right. so I was like, oh my god, this is like those videotapes that Sam Goody with 13 plus sticker. That's <laughs> <Sam> awesome. <Goody. laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I do know what you're talking about. <laughs> I can't even... But, like, like that was just... It was just so cool, and as much as I love the X4 cutscenes, the best, like, animated cutscene in Mega Man history, just on a, like design and what it's trying to say standpoint is the opening to Mega Man 8 because it recaps the whole series in this like really stylish way mm -hmm. I'm like come on you know like if if you if Mega Man 8 is your first game you know you pop it in and then you see just all these like old adventures you know it's like whoa who, who's this guy who's that guy I think I think it's I think it's really good for like a new fan coming in to get interested in what came before Right, exactly. And it was just, just the way it, the way it looked, the way it moved. It was so much fun. Like even if it's just the opening, and you know there are no animated cutscenes in game. Like everything else is in engine or whatever. Just, just something like that to you know you you turn it on, you see the Capcom logo, and then you get like three minutes of like super hype. You know it, it's, I I really miss that. Like, um, you know a few years ago in Mega March we did. Uh, our favorite openings and the top two spoiler were the anime openings yep and uh and i think there's a reason because it's it's so unique like i know it is a um it's a lot more expensive but man we are still talking about how good those were and it's been like well yeah and not 25 only 25 years it, it also um, shows that you're putting a lot more care and effort into your game, mm -hmm. you know? Mega Man is not really known for having in-engine cutscenes very well. Like, it does have them, obviously. But, I mean, like, that was what you did back on the NES when you didn't really have a choice in the matter. No. You know? I think that now we can do much more. I, I like the animated cutscenes, you know. I, I seeing the pre-rendered cutscenes in any game used to be like like a hype moment, you know. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's Mega Man Eight or if it's X Four, I used to like seeing them in uh, in X Seven, even though they had kind of jank CGI. X Eight actually looks pretty good. Like, there's a lot of modern anime that looks that way, you know. X Eight cutscenes, like like that. That's my, you know, that's my. If not this, then this, because like I really like how it's like, you know, like a like a higher res look at those models because I really like the X8 designs, and it was just yeah. it was just a really good looking thing. Like you know, like I always think of, you know, the the three guys riding the elevator back down and just like the way it's like lit and you know, it's it's a like, it's, more it's, cinematic it's so experience, mm -hmm. which you know you're just not gonna get. Uh, you're just not going to get that using in-game uh, cutscenes where the only thing that you can do is, like, just have characters facing one another because they're using, like, for lack of a better term, 2D. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. In instead of just having characters coming on screen and just looking at one another and talking, you can now have cinematic moments. You can direct it like it's a movie. It's an experience, you know? Mm -hmm. You can do cool cutscene angles like with, you know, X-Zero and Axel riding the elevator down. Or, you know, you can have that, that really awesome transition and right in the beginning of Mega Man 8 where there's an explosion and Mega Man comes flying out of a building and lands yes. on Rush. Like, you can so do good. cool stuff like that, but you can't do that if you're limiting yourself to just in-engine cutscenes. Because then you have to just make, like, a little scene and just keep them there and... It's basically like a budget thing. Mm -hmm. Like in-engine cutscenes are fine, but like you could do so much more, you know? Oh yeah, like th this just popped in my brain, but I know that we both have problems with the X5 X versus 0 thing, you know. It's it's dumb and it's stupid and it's stupid and it's dumb, right? Yes. And um can, but can you imagine There should be it, a stronger word for how stupid and dumb it is. Like 
Stum. Stum. Or <laughs> t- Tupid. <Tupin. laughs> That's right. The X5 fight is Tupid. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> but um <laughs> if you guys know you know <laughs> if you know you know but um <laughs> like, like can, can you imagine like everything plays out you know normally right but as soon as the fight is over like as soon as like the hp goes down to zero it just hard cuts to a like an animated you know like cutscene of them like finishing the fight even if it's just like 30 seconds it would make so much more sense than Ooh, I didn't expect uh, that soul, soul body. body. Yeah, the the the, the soul, soul body, body that you can't even see is happening because the entire screen mm-hmm. is is turning white and it's it's a transparent rainbow colored after image of <laughs> the character using it on you, traveling a distance of maybe about six feet. You know, like if you were if you were using mm-hmm. real world measurements, so you don't even see it because it's not even on screen for that long, and it, it barely moves across the screen for you to catch it in the first place. I mentioned I actually had to correct something. Um, I, I need to find the video that it's in. I don't know if I actually ever did correct it. Um, someone was like, actually, if you look at that cutscene, you can see the after image because I had said nothing happens. I don't know mm-hmm. why they say that. It's not even like shown. Yeah, you, so you I was can thinking barely were, see it. I was thinking they were just like the 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 characters are just saying, "Oh, you got me," just to explain it. Oh, they were doing tell, don't show. I get you. But it turns out it's really there. So I told this guy, and I'm like, "No, you're wrong. I've looked. It's not there." But then I watched it again, frame by frame, and that's the only way that I was <laughs> able to actually see it. And I'm like, yeah, "It's like like the the first time you play it, you're not going to be looking for it, you know." So that like that yeah. that's. That's even worse, and you know, and we know to look for it, and we still miss it. And and I thought they were referring to um, the fact that X uses the soul body during his fight. Oh, then yeah, Zero that... also uses soul body. Uh huh. Yeah, that, but, like, that's not that's absolutely even... valid. It, but like, you know, not really in the same way, and it's also not even called soul body. You know, mm-hmm. so. <sighs> I thought maybe that's what they're referring to, is the fact that X uses it during the fight with you. Yeah. But I'm like, well, what if you beat him before he even uses Soul Body? And then I realized, no, it's actually just part of the cutscene. But that's so lazy. Instead of just giving us, like, one extra picture of, like, X and Zero fighting one another. Oh, yeah, and then yeah. cutting to them on the ground. They just... They just yeah. say, oh, Soul Body, I wasn't expecting that. It's well, like, come on! Uh, the reason we can't do it is because we don't know what armor X is going to be in or what armor Zero is going to be. Just who cares? You know, Fine, it, it, just... it, in, X, in X4, if you kill Iris as Black Zero, he's walking up in the red. No one cares. Just yeah, it, ju- it really... just do something. Or, or, or make X flash. Or they both flash, and then, like, you know, they're back in their base armor. So, yeah, exactly. no matter what just... they were in, as soon as the cutscene starts, flash, normal armor, going in for the hit, and then, Yeah, and then you they, know... they can they can each say something like, like, Ugh, I can't maintain my armored form, or something to that effect, you know? Just anything. I, I, I Or just, just, like, a vague, like, uh, th- this is, you know, this is, like, beyond my limit, you know? Yeah, but, but and, and th- th- this anything. is past my limit. I have to finish this. You know, just, just anything, man. Because, just, and, and, I don't want to get and started. And so I, we're we're getting riled up, and we're all we're asking for is like one additional picture, <laughs> just to to make that make sense. But this we have to remember the the entire point of this bullet point that we're talking about right now is the fact that. There's no more anime cutscenes. They just oh, yeah, don't want to bother doing the the animation, <laughs> mm-hmm. which sucks because it's like just do the animation, put in the effort, you know? Yeah, like 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 I, I may be you know not the biggest fan of the ZX series, but even those had anime cutscenes, and yeah, they were exactly. cool. It, it it's a really awesome, you know, like cinematic thing you know what i mean like it it amps up what is happening you know yeah and like like Mega Man has so many roots in like classic anime you know like it, it's it's such like a love letter when you can see these designs that were inspired by you know like anime of the past it's like now you're seeing the next 
sort of generation of it being animated in the way that inspired them in the first place. And that's, I think that's very cool. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I just can't emphasize it enough. It's that Mega Man has the potential to be such a deep storytelling medium because of the world that it's in. And literally all they need to do is just give us a little glimpse of like how dramatic and how cool it could be. And I, I think if they just stick to these in-engine cutscenes or like, you know, still images that aren't even like really that impressive, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, I don't know, man, like stop being lazy, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. What, like I said, even if it, if it's just the opening, I will, I will be happy. I like, you know, you can always say, oh, I wanted more. I wanted more. But Let's let's say that you, you know like like Mega Man 11 became the best-selling Mega Man game, right? So right. let's let's say Mega Man uh, 12 comes out and it's got an anime opening and like that's it, right? And it mm -hmm. becomes the best-selling Mega Man game. Then you think that would tell them, oh, look look what this one had and it sold better than that other one. You know what I mean? Right. So like like I I I feel like even if even if just that one had just one like anime cutscene, it, it if it if it kind of breaks down a door and it like shows them that hey people are really receptive to this this game made a pretty good amount of money you know right let's, uh, let's consider up in the ante next time yeah and I mean this is this is why the 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 drought of Mega Man games after Mega Man X8. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were games after that, of course, but you know, X8 really tried their best with those cutscenes. They really weren't like slacking off when they did it. You know, they they yeah. really really put in the effort for it. And I think that's ultimately what it comes down to is we want to see the effort from Capcom. You know, mm -hmm. and yeah, because like. Mega Man used to be their, you know, their golden goose. You know, it, it was, it's, but now he's just like the guy that's on a calendar. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, I don't know, because this is, what, the 35th anniversary? I think so. Or, thir no, it's 36 this year. Because it was 87. No, it's 35th. Well, we'll put 36. it up on screen when we have it right. I gotta count on my fingers. <laughs> but, uh, like, you know, so, like... That is a long time for something to be around, and it still, like, has a fan base, you know? It, it, like, Mega Man is one of those characters that everyone knows, but not everyone has played. You know, like, like right. he's, ve he's very recognizable. So if you, if you put him in, like, a very attractive package, then I think more people are going to be willing to give it a shot. Like, I, I, think, I think one thing that, um, that Mega Man 11 did, did really well, you know, it's, uh, this is a side tangent, or a side ramble, but, um, you know, like, they put a demo out. You know, just a free demo. And it, it was like, oh, this is that guy from Smash. I'm playing the game. I understand what this character is. Instead of just like, mm -hmm. oh, blue guy on a shelf. I don't get it. You know what I mean? So, like, right. if they if they do that, but then there's also, like, 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 like a YouTube ad or something. You know? And then it's, like, just a, like, a five-second cut, but it's, like, this really cool, like, you know, like anime stuff and then like boom there's a logo and then you see a little bit of gameplay and then just like man that that's gonna that's you're gonna describing, do something. you're describing the japanese ads for mega man see i'm doing it <laughs> like that already existed for mega man one through six they already did this it's just that capcom refuses to do it again we actually used to get a little bit of that um even in the X series and the Zero series, like I love the the first oh yeah yeah those for really X1. cool commercials yeah it yeah it was so cool and I'm like man what is this like why isn't there more of it you know mm -hmm. so yeah like the I don't want to talk about anime cutscenes anymore because they're the coolest thing they make me happy it's just it's it's just depressing yeah. basically what we're saying is. We want more Mega Man animation. I think Mega Man is deserving of it. Look at look at the treatment that Sonic is getting. So yeah. like listen, I'm not, I'm not here to poo poo on Sonic because Sonic is, is trying to do better. But Sonic <laughs> has been in a rough spot for like for like like decades at this point. Okay, Sonic has just been been not so great. But people love the character regardless. Mm -hmm. And even though 
in my opinion, a lot of mediocre games just, you know, keep on, you know, coming out of it. Um, Sega is still giving Sonic a lot of attention. Sega is still doing now, recently, to great effect, Sonic animations. Just little shorts that, you know, advertise the game or, you know, get people hype or just show funny little adventures with, you know, Sonic and friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just give us give us more of that. Do that with Mega Man. I, I feel like Capcom only ever pays attention to the top most earners of their of their franchises. And I don't really think that that's super fair because, you know, if you keep squeezing characters out of opportunities to be profitable or to be popular, and then you use that as like a metric, it's it's almost like Capcom is like, well, gee, I mean, we, we, we've we only not, you know, prioritized Mega Man for the past couple of decades. We, we've only squandered every opportunity to make him uh, more popular and more recognizable with, with you know, new generations. We, we've only been, been, you know, buffering any opportunity for Mega Man to get more popular. Why isn't Mega Man more popular? It's like, you're doing it. You're the ones doing it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like... Gee, we only gave them a minuscule budget and an extremely short release window. Uh, why are our Mega Man games not really doing as well as Resident Evil and Monster Hunter and Street Fighter? Well, gee, I don't know. Maybe it's because you're only giving attention to those games, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, that's where all of the resources and, and, and effort are going into and not really Mega Man, you know? Yeah. And it totally could be going to Mega Man and it's just, it's not. And that didn't always used to be the case, you know? Oh, yeah. Because, like, I, I feel like the kind of game that Mega Man is used to be, like, the best kind of game that Capcom could produce. But with the advent of, like, AAA gaming and AAA development and things like that, Mega Man now kind of falls back towards, like, mid-grade level of, of games in comparison to things like Street Fighter and Monster Hunter and Resident Evil where yeah. the quality ceiling is so much higher now. Whereas Mega Man kind of already kind of capped out. And that doesn't mean that Mega Man can't be good or that Mega Man isn't good. The point I'm getting at is that it, it's a very it, it's a very simple game. There's not a whole lot to it. You know what I mean? There's not a whole lot more that you can really add because then it's no longer Mega Man. It's no longer, you know, it, it, it kind of misses the point. But you can sort of make up for that if you... Put in that little bit of extra polish in like animation and and other sorts of promotional material and 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 merchandise and and like you know comics and other iterations like that and i just feel like capcom is just squandering every opportunity for that and they just want Mega Man to perform as good as their three heavy hitters while not actually getting nearly as many resources but by God, Mega Man is sure as hell trying, because every time a Legacy Collection comes out, Capcom is always like, wow, this exceeded our expectations. And it's like, yeah, what do you think we've been trying to tell you for the past two decades, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, like um, I think that the way they handled early Mega Man 11 stuff was a, a good step, because they did that, like, that like Mega Man timeline video thing, and they had, like, this huge presentation, had, like, guests, you know, and everything, and it, like, then it announces 11 at the end. I was like, oh, this is really cool. Yeah. You know, because, like, like you're, you're, you've you already got fans tuning in because it's like, oh, I want to see the Mega Man thing. You know, and then you've got this really nice video. It's like, oh, look at that. And they even poke fun at themselves when it's, like, the long drought and Mega Man's just going over lava and there's, like, nothing happening yeah, on the timeline. Yeah, a ton of spikes. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, like, like so, there's got to be people on the quote-unquote Mega Man team that are really, like, in our in our corner. You know, it's just, like, I, I think right. it's... I just think it's it's difficult because, you, like, big... You know, like you said, big-budget games aren't made like this anymore. And, uh, but, yeah. that, but that's... I mean, just look at the indie scene. You know, like, there are Mega Man likes that are, like, taking off. You know, like, by um, indie... Mega Man like standards, you know, like there there's some really cool things out there, and they're inspired by the Blue Boy, so they, there is a market. You just have to shoot for the market and make it look like you're very proud of what you're producing, yeah, and then and, and, more will follow. That's yeah, it, it, 
instead it always kind of feels like Mega Man is a thing that they're doing because they're like, I don't know, I guess a lot of people want this Mega Man thing. And then it like blows away their expectations and then they're like, huh, I guess Mega Man's kind of popular. Mm -hmm. But then they don't do anything with that, you know what I mean? It's it's like, ugh, just please. <laughs> you know, back in the day, Mega Man was the pride and joy of Capcom because Mega Man games were kind of like, you know, like that was like the best quality game that you could make at the time because of hardware limitations and graphical limitations and, and whatever. That's just kind of like how the console was, you know. And now that things are expanding and expanding and expanding, you know, Mega Man doesn't really fit nicely into that constant expandability. You can't keep making better and better graphics for Mega Man. You can't really keep making, you know, more and more complex or enticing, um, you know, reasons to replay the game with, like, daily bonuses and, like, constant character costume DLC that's just not the kind of game that Mega Man is, and so I feel like Capcom has just kind of left it behind, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, back in the day, you used to get those anime cutscenes. You used to get the big budget. You used to get the animated commercials with bespoke animation that will never get used for anything else. You used to get your <laughs> Mega Man upon a star. You used to get your, your Ruby Spears pitch animation, you know? Mm -hmm. You used to get all that really good stuff because... You know that's what it was, and now you just you just don't get any of that stuff. And I just I'm I'm getting I'm going way off topic here. This is I mean this is rambling reploids, and this is sufficiently well within the realm of a ramble because we were just talking about anime cutscenes, and now I'm going off on like Capcom's design philosophy and like their their budgetary issues and just <laughs> whatever. You get the point I'm getting at. Put anime cutscenes back in Capcom. Quit half-assing it. <laughs> Whew. You gonna drop the mic after that? No, it's expensive. Okay. Maybe just like <laughs> tap it. Oh, uh, mic tap. <laughs> there you go. I don't know. I don't know how that first one came in, but the second one, I know I definitely got it. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> ah. Uh, rip headphone users. It's so moving on. Moving on from that. <laughs> emotional outburst i apologize should i take should i take this one again since you need to maybe come down a little bit uh yeah you know you go right ahead <laughs> okay well uh to lighten the mood uh this is one that i saw a lot and it came up a lot not as much as female robot master but this is definitely uh second place but the return of classic stages and or robot masters and or weapons that's actually a really good idea. I um, like it. So they're basically saying, let's pull a Mega Man 8 for Sega Saturn. Mm -hmm. And I am all for it. Um, so for those of you who don't know, if you play Mega Man 8 on Sega Saturn, it has original content that is not included on the PlayStation version because of some sort of agreement that Capcom had with uh, Sega and Sony and whatever. They had to basically make two different versions and I think they basically did the bare minimum effort that they could think of to technically differentiate the two versions um, but the even doing the quote-unquote bare minimum they ended up doing something really awesome you can fight Cutman and Woodman in Mega Man 8 in various hidden areas of, uh, of that game on Sega Saturn only and they have uh, like, dialogue and stuff they have pre-fight dialogue, they have voice acting, uh, and their, their stage music has been remixed for Mega Man 8. Ah, uh, that's right. Which, I mean, that's kind of cool. Come on. Like, like when, when, when I read this idea come up, and I, you know, like, had a few um, uh, conversations and comments with people, but, um, like, a lot of people want to see, like, like, Mario Kart style. And if you're, like, one of the three people who hasn't played a Mario Kart game since 64, <laughs> um, what what they've been doing is they have, like, you know, like, a few cups full of, you know, original, completely original to this game. And then they have remade cups of, like, it's it's just, like, it's, like, remakes of, like, stuff from Super yeah, Nintendo and they 64. They take s tracks and, and areas 
from previous Mario Kart games and then remake them in the modern style. Mm -hmm. So, like, there's almost always a version of, like, Mario Circuit from, like, Super Nintendo uh, Mario Kart. There's almost always uh, a remade version of, what is it, Moo Moo Farms yeah, from, Mario, yeah. six, from uh, Mario Kart 64. Um, I know, I think, what is it, Waluigi's Pinball is a popular yeah, one. Yeah, that's a good one. There's, there's so many classic tracks that are like oh everyone loves this and then they keep bringing it back for newer iterations i think this would be a great idea for Mega Man to just have like a challenge mode where it's like okay i'm gonna go through you know a, a set of eight stages that are from previous Mega Man games you know and mm -hmm. they could even set it up where it could be like you know here's eight remade stages and you get you know they don't all have to be from the same game either like you can have like a greatest hits of like you know Mega Man two, three, four, five, six, whatever, and just kind of scramble them, and then see which Robot Master weapons, if you're going to add that functionality, uh, work best on which Robot Masters. Yeah, like they, there's your DLC plan right there. You know, you you get like chunks of four or eight, you know, like legacy stages. Yeah. That you can download it. Like, it, imagine it as like a Wily Tower situation where you can just like mix and match all the weapons and stuff like yes, what, what exactly. if you set up like you can set up your own eight you know like like, like there, there's data for everything to have you know like like this weapon will like you know you're fighting metal man and he like spark shot does this you know search snake does that noise crush does this you know like ju just like every possible weapon will have you know like a damage calculation on the boss so, yeah, exactly. So it's, 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 there's your infinite replayability right there. Yeah, you could easily be like, you know, let's find out what, you know, Metal Blade does against Astro Man or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. who knows? Just have fun with it, you know? Um, oh, so that would fun. be a, a really great idea. Like, they sort of did this if you played the Endless Modes, I think for Mega Man 9 yeah. and 10, yeah. where they remade segments of stages, which was cool. I, I really like that idea. Even if it doesn't necessarily have the same tile set uh as the as the stage you know just being able to play through a modernized version of that stage maybe let's say it's like a vr simulation or something whatever mm. you know so that's why you don't have to make all the assets i would even settle for that just to play through the layouts and then have the boss at the end that you can confront you know oh that would be so cool and it would be fun it, it, it's we've seen how much fun that is even with x challenge where you can fight um, bosses from across the games uh, and or even see how some of them work when like they they team up I would actually even be fine with that if they have like just call it like boss challenge mode and it could just be um, here you are here's some of the weapons from across various Mega Man games uh, now you have to fight two bosses at once I think the X challenge mode should be like a thing that appears in more Mega Man games going forward because that would just be so much fun that could be a game on itself. If, even if you don't want to make a new numbered Mega Man game as like a sequel, I would play an entire game built around, you know, uh, fighting previous bosses or going through previous state. You could make that a whole game unto itself. Mm -hmm. Like, like we we've seen how much fun like Mega Man Maker is. You know, you're taking yeah. assets from other levels, you know, from like old old levels and making something new out of it. So. Like, doing sort of the opposite, you know, like, you take the Mega Man 12 assets, and it's like, I'm going to build Fireman's stage. You know, I, I'm Johnny mm -hmm. Capcom right now. You know, it's like, I'm, I'm going to build Fireman's stage. You know, instead of um, instead of the little uh, fry guys floating down, we'll have, you know, this enemy that's in Mega Man 12. So you have, like, the old thing with a new twist, and then you got, like, a revamped, like, Fireman at the end. Like, that would be, like, just so cool. Yeah, it, exactly. It, it just like how they did with, you know, uh, with Mega Man 8, where you fought Cutman and Woodman, and they had, like, slightly revamped, like, uh, combat patterns. You know, their, their attacks kind of worked the way that you expected, but they also remixed some things. Like, I think Cutman was way more... I don't know if he was easier or harder, but I know he had different attacks than he did in Mega Man 1, mm -hmm. um, only because in Mega Man 1... <laughs> the bosses would defeat you by way of chunking most of your health in one hit. So. Yeah. <laughs> but it was cool nonetheless to just see them with the new animations and just see them come back. Like, 
I don't know, man. There's so much potential for this. Like, Capcom loves milking old content, like, and we're telling them you can just do this. And for some... They milk old content in the most lazy way possible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the least amount of effort, which is exactly what I was rambling about just before in our previous point. It, it feels like they're putting in the least amount of effort possible. Um, when if they just put in a little bit more effort, it would make people way more happy and sell way better, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I, I think that even just having this on the radar is just like an evergreen strategy, you know? Like, just, yeah. it's like, oh, um, we have, next month we have four stages from Mega Man 7, you know, who's it gonna be? You know, because then it gets like a hype cycle going. Yeah, you could easily do that and make just endless DLC and people would be down for that, you know? Yeah, like, what, five, ten bucks for, you know, a handful of stages? Like, if you get full stages and bosses and weapons, you know, I think, I think that would work out really well. Yeah, basically, like... Oh my god, going through like, like pre, you know, like Mega Man 7 and before stuff with like base, if he's got the dash and the double jump, how much fun would that be? That'd be so cool, because th then we're right back to playing one thing with different styles, and then mm -hmm. it's just, oh my god, please. Mega Man has a lot of expandability, it's just up to Capcom to finally expand upon it you know mm -hmm. I, I i could totally see this being a thing like if they want this to be a game that people come back to that they, they, and there's like your your content from your influencers you know it's like oh man here come you know what what levels do you guys want to see you know it's like oh here come here comes this one i i never you know i skipped Mega Man six never played tomahawk man well look at the sunset you know what i mean yeah like, exactly they, man because then, like I said earlier, you can get people interested in the stuff that came before, and then boom, you're selling more legacy collections. I mean, that's that's almost it's almost the system that they had with X Dive, where they were really paying homage to like mm -hmm. every franchise of Mega Man, and people were just excited to see more Mega Man content. You yeah. know, just from all the different series, and it's just like you could do this so easy. Like you, you guys are sitting on a mountain. Of potential and you're just not using any of it yeah between all the series Me Mega Man is like one of the most like storied franchises like it, ever it's so versatile and it could do so much and yet it it, it, it barely ever budges you know what I mean mm -hmm. but uh, and like like that this idea is so I think it's so good because it doesn't betray like what Mega Man is you know it's it's not like Oh, you play this one, but it's a it's a horizontal, you know, like two D shooter. You know, like it's not that you're still playing Mega Man stuff, but it's in a different way. But it's also in a familiar way. So you, you know, you're you're getting the best of both worlds, and and it's not like we haven't had games where Mega Man does go literally go through the same stages. Like just look at the Mega Man World games on Game Boy. Uh, like, that's yeah. literally the entire point. Same thing with Wily Wars. You know, mm -hmm. so it, it we just we we're fine playing the same stuff over again, but if you even more so if you just add a little bit more creativity to it, you know. Yeah, like just just a a, a hint of lemon, you know, just a, just add something, or a hint uh, of uh, egg. Uh, sorry. Yeah, please, please just season the food, Capcom. It's so simple. So like th this one, this might be my most wanted out of the list, like. I mean, more playable characters, sure. Female Robot Master, yeah, but... Man, just like, I, I think having a game that's evergreen, you know, or at least it gets a, 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 like a few years of life, you know, and then later on you can, you, you know, like, years down the road, it's like, oh, here's uh, the re-release for people that missed out or didn't know what Mega Man was, and it's got all mm -hmm. the stuff in it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I would like it if there was maybe like a, a 32-bit game you know, okay. using, like, the... the uh, Let's say this was its own game, and not even... I, I know this is supposed to be about things we want to see in Mega Man 12, but like I said, this idea is good enough it could stand on its own as a game. Okay. 32-bit um, sprites, kind of like X-Challenge mode, and you can have Mega Man, Mega Man X, Zero, you can make up some custom 32-bit sprites for Axel, Base already has them for, you know, Rockman and Forte, 
Proto Man already sort of has some, you know, like, mm -hmm. that's, what is that, like, six playable characters right there, <clears throat> and just, just go nuts. Draw from, you know, six, like, 32-bit sprites are not that difficult to make, and I think that if Capcom really spent the time remaking some, some of their assets or just reusing the ones that they already have, you could go so far, you know, and just make, take X, uh, X challenge mode, but make it like a game where you just fight previous oh, would, bosses or, or cool. previous, like previous stages and things like that. You know what I mean? And just remix it. Like imagine playing like a shuffle mode where every time you start, you get a random eight set of bosses, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like you could do it. It's, you could totally do it. It, it drives me crazy that like Capcom, like, on one hand, I'm happy that Capcom is so focused on, like, numbered sequels for games. But on the other hand, there are so many just slightly different games that Capcom could be making for Mega Man that they just don't. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Like, they, just, just go for it. Yeah, there, there are a lot of good ideas out there. But... Uh, they, there's there's such a good amount of legacy things that we could, we could really have something fun. But we'll... Yeah. Maybe, you know, like, there's there, there's always a shot, and this this seems like a realistic idea, you know, like, like it, this isn't just, like, a shot in the dark, it's like, man, wouldn't it be cool if, um, you know, you played as a duo, but you're flying through space being a policeman, you know, like, like, that that's far-fetched, but this right. is, this is like, oh, this is a thing that can happen. It, it's just Mega Man, but different like i don't know how else to describe it it's just mm -hmm. slightly different Mega Man, and we're fine with that because Mega Man has such a perfected formula that it really only needs minimal nudges in one way or another to make it fun and unique and different and to satisfy people and it's just so strange that they're not capitalizing on it oh man so imagine the double gear comes back right but then you're you're getting these uh these classic weapons so then you get to see like Power Gear, uh, I don't know, Search Snake. I'm, I'm back to Search Snake. Search Snake. Yeah. Free, oh, freeze Whatever Cracker. We got to do Freeze Cracker. Of course, Freeze Cracker. Yeah. But, you, you know, like, like, man, just, okay. I think I've said my piece. We're, we're going to go in circles about what could be, you know? Yeah. Capcom, take take that one, please. please. <laughs> I, I will pay you extra in order to play things that I've already played but in a remixed way I I that is how you get me yeah exactly Ugh. Nintendo has the right idea they've been doing this in their Mario games for years <laughs> it's true uh, come on Sega has too now that I think about it Sega is a little bit more blatant because they are quite literally just copy pasting entire segments of one game and sticking it into another multiple times and for some reason we're just all okay with that but i thought um, you liked green hill zone yeah green hill zone and chemical <laughs> plant my two favorite places to always return to <laughs> um but i mean <sighs> Mega Man could do that just a little bit just a pinch of reusing things <laughs> yeah i'd be fine with that Ugh. all right let's let's move on let's move we on. We, <laughs> we have a few, we have a few more things to cover Yes. But the, these ones probably shouldn't be too long. Um, no. Mega Man 11 did not have many Wily stages. What about a second Wily castle? You know, just like... Just... Uh, that would be good too. E extend. You know, just have, just a little bit. Have some more Wily stages, why don't you? Um, I think that could be a lot of fun. Again, that also opens up the door for you to reuse segments of previous stages. You know, like, if you want to just mm. incorporate those into the Wily Castle stages, like, that's fine. Oh, you know? man, what what if, like, you know, like, like you know, Wily's been, been getting beat for so long, right? So, he's got, like, a second castle, but it's, like, it's just a hodgepodge of other castles. So, it's, it's like, literally level segments from the old games just, like, put, like, strung together Frankenstein style. That would and be kind of cool. One of them is the snowboard for Mega Man Eight. <laughs> jump, jump, baby! 
Uh, I want, I kind of want that to come back just for the meme of it. <laughs> just, just, just the, to see the pure, the, the color drain from people's faces when they recognize the snowboard is on screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it would be fantastic. That would be fun. Um, yeah, more Wily stages. Um, the reason why I like the Wily stages in every Mega Man game um, is because they kind of force you to use all of the weapons that you've uh, gained up to that point. Yeah. As well as any of the other gadgets that you have. Um, and I, Mega Man doesn't often get a chance to do that. There's a There's been a handful of times, like in, uh, I think, Mega Man in base and uh, Mega Man 8, where even Mega Man 7, not to a huge degree, but a, a small degree, where the game starts off with only four robot masters, and then after you beat those four, the additional four unlock. Yeah, and what I, that I, allows you to like do that. is it's it's not bad. I think it should be optional, but it allows you then to design stages that know that you have already gotten the previous four robot master weapons. For uh -huh. instance, in Mega Man Eight, they let you get uh, Thunderclaw from Clown Man. As soon as you get to the next area of the game you can now swing on these like little grappling hook points that are scattered throughout the stages. I mean, the best example of this, honestly, is Swordman stage. I was going to say Swordman because, yeah, it the uses entire all first four half weapons. Of the stage, yeah, yeah it, it forces you to use all four weapons to get through. And it, it's kind of fun, but I almost wish that was like a Wily stage, you know, that just forced you to use all of your weapons up to that point. Oh, yeah. As yeah. opposed to forcing you to use a stupid snowboard to get through, you know? I like, like the snowboard. I mean, I like the snowboard, too. I don't think it's as bad as people say it is. But the point I'm getting at is that um, having Wily stages that more directly force you to use your boss weapons to get through... Um, would be a lot of fun. Especially like how in Mega Man 8, almost all of the boss weapons have a utility as well as like a weapon function. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah, like the Tornado Hold and Thunderclaw. Tornado claw, Hold, yeah. the, the Thunderclaw, even the Mega Ball has like applications ah, that you true. use. Which you need for the first the first Wily stage boss after the snowboard. Mm -hmm. You know? It, so, it, as long mm -hmm. as we don't go in the boo beam trap direction, no. because that's that, like, that, that's the, the worst way to do it. Boobing trap only works if it's optional to destroy some of those walls. You yeah, I mean? like, yeah. Like maybe they're regenerating walls and like they they come up or something and it covers like a handful of them. So you have to rush to the one that's not covered so you can destroy it or something like that. Or or, um, or if you, you know, like if you don't kill it with crash bomb, it regenerates. But if you do kill it with crash bomb, it's gone. So then you can still buster it if you run out. You know, just like right, the, just exactly. the, the little things. Exactly. Like, you know, maybe I, I was going to say, like, maybe the walls regenerate, but if you use Crash Bomb, it gets rid of it. But you don't need Crash Bomb to destroy the Boo Boom Trap. You just need to find the one that you can hit and then avoid getting shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. There's so many ways you could make it more fair to the player as opposed to being like, gee, I sure hope you saved up your Crash Bombs because if you didn't, you're going to die here. Yeah, like, or, or like each time you you break a wall, it 100% it will drop a weapon energy you know just, yeah so just, you just something keep going yeah <laughs> but Some, something to make it beatable yeah as opposed to that being like a hard reset for your game you know yeah like if you don't have enough crash bomb that's like a hard game over like you gotta just eat take the l and that and start over which is is bull crap because how could you possibly see that coming mm -hmm. so nothing like booby i'm talking more like fun utility based ways of traversing the stage like using tornado man to kind of skip parts of astro man's maze or using the weapons to get through sword man's puzzles or you know things like that using the flame sword to cut down the the forest in search man stage that mm -hmm. is so much fun i love doing that sort of thing Mega Man 7 sword did some of this not a whole lot but you can a lot of the boss weapons can be used to activate things in the stages like burning trees or turning on machinery with electricity freezing the lava freezing the lava which is a classic Mega Man thing that for some reason works and everyone loves it um <laughs> you could use the the flame wheel to uh, light the candelabras in Shade Man stage oh, so you yeah. can actually see. That's fun. I love things like that because it, it doesn't beat the stage for you. It doesn't make it easy, but it makes it... Or I shouldn't... Excuse me. It doesn't make it 
stupid easy to get through, but it does make it a little bit easier. It's just a little thing to give you an edge, as opposed to, you know... I didn't like how Mega Man 11 handled it, where the weapons straight up defeat certain stage hazards. Oh, like, yeah, they just yeah. They just straight up defeat them. And it's like, alright, I guess that works. But now it just feels like the way to beat this stage is to get the weakness for it mm -hmm. and then beat it. As opposed to using like your sense and skill to figure out how to get through. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like, uh, like back to like lighting candles and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it, it helps you see better, but maybe if you light them all, then you can you can spot a hole in the wall that you can slide through that is otherwise completely invisible. You wouldn't know it was there. Yeah, yeah you or know, maybe you, then if you, you like them in a specific order, maybe yeah, okay. it unlocks a special door or something. You yeah. Know? You know, I, I think more Wily stages would allow, like, if you if you add these kinds of mechanics to more Wily stages, because they're it, it's uh, it's back loaded into the game as opposed to front loaded, that lets you have your eight robot masters right from the beginning, but still have that satisfying weapon usage at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think that that would be the best way to get both. Because Mega Man 7, and or actually 8 is worse at this, really. Um, Mega Man 8 really requires you to have those weapons to beat the other four Robot Master stages. But I don't necessarily like that. I, I kind of like when you ha you can beat all eight Robot Masters in any order that you choose, because that's just like a, a Mega Man staple, you know? Mm -hmm. um, as a matter of fact, not many people know this, there's actually a password you can enter for Mega Man 7, which unlocks all eight Robot Masters from the very beginning, so you can face them in any order you want, like a traditional Mega Man game, as opposed to forcing you to get um, the first four weapons before you can continue. Because there's actually nothing in any of the stages that requires you to use the first four ro uh, Robot Master weapons. But in Mega Man 8, there is. So I'm saying we should take that part where they say you need to use the weapons to progress and just stick that in the Wily stages because you're at the end of the game. Of course you have all the weapons, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And, so, uh, it, like, if you, if you really want to go hard, then two Wily Castles, four stages each... That's a stage that can focus on each weapon, you know, if you want to... If yeah, you, you If you really want that. something like that, that'd be kind of neat. I, I totally agree. I think that there should be more Wily stages. Especially because in a lot of Mega Man games, they always show you the Wily Castle, and it plays this, like, you know, big intimidating music, like... Dum, ba, ba, bum, 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 <laughs> dum, da, da, dun, dun, dun. And then it's like, you go through, like, two rooms and you're done. <laughs> like, they show you the path that Mega Man is taking to get through the castle, yeah. but the castle never actually feels all that big. <laughs> yeah. So I think having more Wily stages would, would really... Um, make the visuals when they're showing you where you're going through uh, you know, a Wily stage and, and really actually make it more accurate to like what's really happening. Yeah. So. Come on, Wily, step it up. Step it up, Wily. We know you're planning quit something. Quit being lazy. <laughs> what do you, work for Capcom? Oh my god, don't say that. They're listening. <laughs> but, um, okay. We have, um, just one major point left, and then one other point. That's but, true. um, did you want to bring us in on this, uh, the one at the bottom there? Uh, I sure did. So, <laughs> <laughs> this is a ridiculous request that'll never ever happen in a million years, but man, do I want it to happen. I, I read it and it made me laugh. <sighs> Dr. Light bonus mode with Street Fighter moves. <laughs> There's your melee character. There is your melee character. Now, listen. <laughs> I think it is hilarious to imagine Dr. Light just taking his grudge with Wily and making it personal. Like, he's like, I'm not sending Mega Man. I'm coming for you. We're going to throw hands. Like, <laughs> he's literally going to throw hands because he can throw a Hadouken, oh. which has his hands inside of it. Um... This is really more like a Mega Man X kind of thing, but I'm so down for it. Um, X Dive really spoiled us by giving us Ryu Dr. Light as an actual freaking character. I'm so happy. It's, I mean, that's one of the best things that has ever happened in Mega Man. So I think the idea of having Dr. Light 
go through Mega Man stages while using Street Fighter moves is actually really awesome. But hear me out. I actually think this could be a really fun gameplay mode. Um, not only as another character, but just in the challenge of it. So if you're playing as Dr. Light with Street Fighter moves, that means you can't shoot anything. You have to do button inputs to throw a Hadouken. You have to, if you press the shoot button, you're just gonna do like like punches. You know, I'm imagining they can have like, 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 a, um, like a, a punch button, a kick button, obviously a jump button, and then maybe instead of, uh, I don't know what the other button would do, like I'm thinking of the face buttons. So you'd have like jump, punch, kick, and then I don't know what the fourth one would do. Maybe like a slide or a dash or something. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I mean, it's like it's like he's using the Z knuckle, you know. Oh, maybe that could be like throwing. That would be interesting. Oh, like, there, oh my like God, can you imagine? <laughs> so you have a, a throw move where you just sniper pick up Joe, whatever. not today. Yeah, if you get in melee range, you can grab a character and then just throw them at stuff. That would be sweet. So. And then, to do special attacks, you have to do the inputs. You have to do a Hadouken motion to throw Hadoukens. You have to do a Shoryuken for that. You, if, you, if you do, um, I know usually it's down back and then, well, there would be a kick button. So I guess you could always do like, you know, down back kick or or maybe like Hadoken motion kick since you can't technically do it backwards because mm -hmm. you would turn around. But that would be really interesting to just give Dr. Light like all of the, the Street Fighter Shoto moves you know, and, and just see how that plays through a stage, you know what I mean? Like, I think that'd be interesting, because you could be busting out these really powerful attacks, but you're hindered by the fact that you basically have zero range, you know? I, I think that would make for a pretty interesting gameplay style, just to see if it's possible. Mm -hmm. You know, it'd be a fun challenge mode. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that nobody has made, um, like, a Mega Man fan game that does this, you know? Yeah. Like, where you, you play uh, an input-based character as opposed to one that just, you know, it's instant gratification, like Mega Man or Zero. Right. You know? well, like, well, when I first read this, I, I kind of took it as it would just be a, like, a one or two stage mode, like, just completely separate, right? And, it, mm. it you know, it would still be Dr. Light doing all the stuff that you described, but it would just be, like, a more condensed thing. And I think it'd be mm. funny if, you know, like, you know, you you uh, punch Wily's lights out at the end or something. And then like there, there's like there's like just a little a little like picture at the end. You know, it's like just light waking up at his desk. <laughs> you, know, you know, you know just 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 something. It's like um Knuckles and Knuckles mode in Sonic Mania. You know, it's just Knuckles yeah. telling telling a story at the end. That's how it's like contextualized. Wait, is that really what happens in Sonic Mania? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he's just reading a, a, like a storybook. Uh, so, I've never actually played Knuckles and Knuckles mode in Sonic Mania. I have so much I need to do in Sonic Mania, but I've never actually done that. But I know it's possible and it's hilarious. <laughs> so, yeah, just, just something. And then, he, like, it's just like, you know, like, it's two drawings. You know, like, one where he's, you know, it, like, fades in him laying on his desk. And one where he's, like, looking up. It's like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, just like, just, just like, he says, he says something. It's like... You know, that like, same dream again. <laughs> <laughs> the same dream again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could totally I, I could totally see that working. I, I think that'd be great. Or maybe you could even just just go full silliness with it and 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 just have Ryu visit Doctor Doctor Light and he's like giving him lessons. You know, Doctor Light's like, yeah, I want to lose weight or something. Well, <laughs> no, be, training with Ryu. <laughs> so many people say that that they want a. You know, connection to the X series, which I do not want. It's, its own thing. Let Mega Man mm -hmm. live to fight another day. But um, like that—that that could be the end of the bonus mode. You know, he te he teaches uh, he teaches Doctor Light how to how to sit inside of you know like a waterfall, so it connects to the like the capsule quotes. Or gets mm. the 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 uh, Achukan. <laughs> yes. So you know, just like I I don't I don't see that happening, but it'd be kind of silly. It would it would be funny like like maybe yeah he wakes up from the dream or something like that and then he he looks over at like uh, a, a sketch of like an upgrade capsule and he just goes hmm like I don't know <laughs> just something like I, I think it'd be fun just 
But you know what? I don't want that because I guarantee if that ever happened, uh, yeah, yeah. people would come to all of my videos and be like, oh, God, go get his cannon now. I told you. Uh, and all, it's like, uh, all he has uh, to do is all he has to do is wake up and then like, oh, I've been playing these games too much. And then it just shows Street Fighter on the TV. You know, like, just yeah. have, like, the Street Fighter 2 intro, and, like, he left it or on. Don't or, even or, like, roles it playing. <laughs> don't even explain it at all. I'd be fine with there just being, like, a completely non-sequitur Dr. Light Street Fighter mode. Yeah, it'd be like, um... Like, we're, like, we're um, trying to rationalize it too much. Just don't... Just go with it, you know? It'd be like a Mega Man A in ZX Advent. Now, it's just, yeah. this, just this little tiny bonus mode where you, where you do something different. Yeah, I, I would like that. I, I would like that, and then I would like it if maybe you beat that mode, you can then play as Dr. Light throughout the regular game. I oh, that'd, that'd be cool. Be that'd be cool. Just to see if you can do it, because, like, Street Fighter moves are not practical for Mega Man gameplay. Oh, yeah, I absolutely. Think, I just think that's fun. Like, I want to see it. Yeah, you know, it kind of reminds me of, like, I mentioned it earlier with Beautiful Joe. You can play as Dante from Devil May Cry, and he, <laughs> he has a totally new moveset, and it's just fun seeing characters play in games where they're clearly not really meant to be mm -hmm. it's it's just fun seeing how it works you know yeah i want to see instead of when dr light gets defeated instead of you know blowing up like pew 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 just uh, uh, uh. yeah it, it does like one of the the street fighter 2 post fight mug shots <laughs> or even better maybe dr wily could be akuma <laughs> oh no yeah that's cross promotion I, either Akuma or Ken, I'd be fine with either one. I think Akuma, because he's more evil. Mm -hmm. Like, they're, they're rivals, but Akuma is, like, bad guy material. Right. Oh my god, he tur Wily turns his back to the camera and a skull pops up on his back. <laughs> oh, someone draw this now. <laughs> uh, I'm so, I so want this to happen. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's incredible. I, I, I want it. I want it so bad. I didn't think we'd have much to say about this one, but... Heck yeah, dude. Well, I want it. We're ramblin' reploids. Our <laughs> imaginations run wild, and then we say all sorts of crazy shit. <laughs> That's true. Uh, okay, well, um, I think we're reaching the end of this episode, but I, I do want to close out with... I think it was the very first comment that came on that last video, before it even went live. And, and it's the most important one, too. Yeah. All I want to see from Mega Man 12 is a release date. Agreed. <laughs> Before we get into any of our delusions of grandeur, the most important thing that we want to see for Mega Man 12, or or that you guys say that you want to see for Mega Man 12, which is an extremely valid point, is a release date. Mm -hmm. Or at least a release, a, date. a release date, an announcement, something, a release window, just something. Something. Please, Capcom, you're killing us. <laughs> <sighs> oh. That was fun. Um, I guess continue to tell us stuff that you'd want to see in Mega Man 12. Yeah, or, or what a, other stuff do you want us to talk about? Yeah, or just a, a future Mega Man game. You know, just just go crazy. I like when we talk about things in the comments. Future ideas for Mega Man games that still play mostly in the traditional Mega Man format. Like the Mario Kart mode, bringing back old stages and bosses. You know, taking X Challenge mode and expanding it. You know, take ideas like that. What other kinds of Mega Man games do you want to see? And also, um, what other features do you think would be good for a Mega Man game in general? Like any of them, whether it's 12 or X or, you know, ZX3, anything. What are some good features that you would like to see in future Mega Man games in general? I'm looking forward to it because... Yeah. Like, like I said, with some of these, I, they didn't even really cross my mind. And yeah. it turns out that I'm really into... <laughs> yeah, into exactly. These. Like, I, I didn't know what to expect, because when, when we did our list, not to discount anyone, but I was like, I think we covered, like, all, like, the, the good stuff, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? That, like, what else, that's how what I else is there that could possibly, you know, be said? Um, you know, so, last time when we did this, I kind of thought that, like, we had, like, covered everything. Like, I thought, yeah, that's pretty much all you could possibly want. But then actually looking at some of these, I'm like, man, these are some really good ideas, you know? Like, it's always good to have some outside perspectives because yes. you never know what people are going to come up with and you never know what thing... You know, you don't know what you want until maybe you hear it, you know? Yeah. And, like, th this isn't to discount any of the 
comments that we didn't use. You know, like they, oh, of there course. were there were like you know like there were so many like really good ones. I just you know just picked stuff that we saw a whole bunch, stuff that was really interesting, like the uh, Doctor Light thing. And you know, oh, yeah. to to be honest, there there are some things that I was like, mm, I don't really want that. But you know, I'm not gonna just make a video. It's like top ten things I don't want to see ever because you're stupid. Top you know, like, ten dumbest suggestions <laughs> in our comment section. <laughs> you know, like, like none of that because you know everybody wants different things, and I you know I yeah. completely respect that. But that's you know this is just stuff that I'm like, yeah, I can totally gel with this. Oh yeah, I think these are all really good picks. I think you guys did a great job, and I think if any of these were implemented, I think. I'll, pretty much the majority of people would be happy I, i'd be so down for it mm -hmm. yeah i can't i can't i can't see someone being like there's more than just Mega Man, even though i don't have to play as them if i don't want to i'm not buying what's that that quote from <laughs> from doom eternal the the twitter uh, account you control the buttons you push <laughs> oh okay like you can you don't have to do it you know like it was some guy complaining about uh Oh, I don't want to use this new feature of the game. And they're like, well, you control the buttons you push. You don't have to, mm -hmm. you know. If you don't like having base or protomen in there, just don't use them. You know, yeah. it's an option. But I don't think there's ever a problem with having more options, you know. Mm -hmm. I think more characters, more character variety, more design variety with female robot masters. That's great. More Wily levels. That's great. Basically, we want more is what we're saying. More yes. Mega Man. More everything. More everything. <laughs> But yeah, um, I guess sound off. Let's keep the conversation going, and you know who knows. You know, we'll we'll see what happens from here. Yeah, definitely. And um, I guess it's time to sign off. So thank you all for coming, <laughs> Twitch. Thank you for being here as always. It's always a of good time. Of course, it's my pleasure. I love being here. Yes, and. Um, right home thank you for the suggestions and thank you for checking this out uh i guess watch the other one if you haven't seen it see our opinions yeah if you have no idea what the heck we're talking about go watch the first one <laughs> <laughs> all right everybody take it easy and we will see you next time take care everyone hey thanks for watching as always a big thanks to our channel members sylvie dunno Asterisk, Derupi, Doranor, Sprinkling, Masterman, Catfry, Van Jackson, and the rest of our supporters. We got to see lots of really good ideas last time, so what else would you want to see in a future Mega Man game? Let us know. See you next time.